I would like to give a special nail addict shout out to Queen Miss Chris 7, Exotica Empire, Tracy's Nail World, and Omnia's Wish for being the first four to comment on my last video. Thank you ladies so, so much. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So for this video, I'm starting straight off with prep because this was originally the first set I was supposed to show with the landfill kit, but like I kind of mixed it up and did something different because I was trying to like do more of a Thanksgiving vibe at first and so yeah, so I had to skip the beginning of the video because I added that with my last video, but for this video, I'm using Y023 as the base on all of the nails so it'll be like just a straight nude set um you saw me push back my cuticles remove all the dead skin and stuff i'm now applying these nail tips that i got off amazon i will have them linked down below these tips are pretty good i must say so for this particular set i did go ahead and do full prep because i did end up keeping them on for the week and y'all i fell in love with this set so you're gonna see the difference here um with me applying the lampho poly gel versus the previous video where i, I you know kind of did the unboxing um on the previous video with lampho that was my second time using the poly gel so i kind of knew how to maneuver it how to work it that type of thing this video here was my very first time using the Lanfo poly gel so it kind of like threw me for a loop because of how thick the consistency was i mean looking back at it it wasn't that bad honestly um my application besides the fact that i was like too zoomed in on certain areas of the video it wasn't bad as far as like application goes because i felt like it was a lot worse like it was so freaking thick when i first ever used it it was sad now the second time i used the lampo poly gel i just kept a a bowl of warm water next to me and i was able to just like kind of keep it in the water to keep it like um like to where it's able to come off the bottle but this first time y'all this was so hard to squeeze out of this tube it was super hard so I just squeezed it onto my nail like I normally would for my 2B method from where the tip and the natural nail meet down to the free edge. And then I'm taking the poly gel brush that came with that Lanfo kit and their slip solution. And I am just trying to pat that into place. As I started patting it, I realized that bead was a little bit too thin. So I just added a second bead right next to it just so that, um, we're able to get this rolling so again i'm using their slip solution and their poly gel brush and just patting that onto the nail so typically i always just pat it all over the nail tip when i'm doing an overlay so making sure that it does touch all the sides of the nails and then once i get it like spread over the nail tip itself i then am able to go in and start smoothing everything out so i always say this and i always will the best thing about poly gel is that you have so much time to work with it i remember when i first started using poly gel um I'm not gonna say i would rush but i wouldn't take as much time and care on a set because i felt like it's okay i can just file everything off so that i would have like bumpy nails and stuff like that to therefore then go back and have so much filing to do so a tip that i always give when you're using poly gel because you are in control when it actually cures and sets just take your time make sure you're making everything as nice as you would like try to make everything nice and smooth straight so that when it is time to go into file shape and buff you don't have so much to do because you've already pretty much taken care of making everything nice and smooth you just want to take out any little small imperfections or bumps and lumps that may be in the nail but this is such a beginner friendly product you've never tried it i highly recommend poly gel it is going to change your life you get salon quality nails at home 
you know, you don't have to worry about harsh chemicals with poly gel. Simply get a good slip solution. So most, you know, I'm not going to say most, but some kits come with slip solution. And if not, get you some 91% alcohol from your local store. Any store sells it. So yeah, very, very easy. Very easy. I am definitely a poly gel lover. Like this is my first love. Um, So I put a poll on my channel recently about like what you all like to see me do. And a lot of people said poly gel. And I must agree. I honestly love my poly gel sets. Um, but what I was trying to do with my channel is be like versatile and kind of like branch out and try acrylic dip powder. I really love as well. I just haven't done it in a while. Um, and I love gel X. Gel X is like a go-to for me. So for the month of December, you guys are going to see a lot of gel X because I do plan on doing a lot of sets. And yeah, gel, gel X is the quickest way to kind of get out real good, like quick, um, you know, nail art and stuff like that. So you'll definitely see that a lot in December. But I do think I want to go back more in that direction with my channel as far as like poly gel goes and um, like gel X are going to be like my main thing. And again, it's really just because of the monomer with acrylic. Like I love acrylic. I love the fact how you can like get it to just like apply a flow, all of that. But that monomer, again, is just really harsh, <clears throat> excuse me, on me. And, yeah, I don't like that the smell stays. Um, I did go into odorless monomer with acrylic, but, like, just the drying portion of that is pretty irritating. Like, I found a way to make it dry faster, but then there's, like, this sticky inhibition layer I don't like. So, like, yeah, there's a few things about acrylic that kind of, like, throw me off. So, I may focus back on poly gel and gel X a little bit more. Um, but comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Especially if you're someone that actually, like, supports me and follows me. What are your thoughts on that? Like, would you still watch my videos if I switched? I mean, it's been a while since I've done an acrylic video anyways. But I'm just saying, like... What do you think? I feel like I want to go more that direction for now. And like maybe later on. Because like we're supposed to be doing some things to the house. Where I may be able to uh, get back into acrylics. Because I'll have an open space, fresh air type situation. To where I can actually do them. So until then I may just stick with Poly Gel and Gel X. But comment down below and let me know what you think about that. So back into the video, I'm basically just doing my first bead on my 2B method on all my nails. And like I said, they're all going to be pretty much the same. So it's just this really pretty like pink nude shade. And I'm just doing this as a base on all the nails. I absolutely love this. Now one thing I did notice about the Landfill Poly Gel, again, it was just really, really thick. And so like when we'll get to my cuticle, I'll point something else out. But like super thick i mean it was nice but like at first when i first started like patting it into place that thing threw me off i was like what i couldn't believe how like thick the consistency is and if y'all know me you know i love me a thick consistency of poly gel but this right here was beyond thick it was so hard to come out of the tube and i already had started this set like again this was like the unboxing video this one here um, and that's why the beginning started how it did. I just went right into prep because I already had did the unboxing portion of it. And I just clipped that from off of this video and put it on my last video. So that's why it looked like that at the beginning. But <clears throat> I already had started the set and got into the groove because like I instantly started thinking about the warm water. But I didn't want to get back up. So I kind of just went with it this time and like worked with it and I can say I did a really good job like I did but that's another thing guys if you get a poly gel that is a bit too thick of consistency like it's acting like it doesn't want to come out of the tube all you do is just sit it in some warm water it loosens up the poly gel and allows it to flow out of the bottle so that's just a really good tip but I really really like this poly gel overall like 
it's just really nice i like the consistency although super thick it's just up right up my alley i love it I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And as always, thank you so much to anyone that does take their time to watch my videos. Watching my videos to the end, it does actually help your girl out a lot. If you're watching the video right now or tuned in, make sure you place a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family, and I thank you so, so much for joining me on my nail journey. It means everything to me. Um, and comment down below, let me know you're here so that I can give you a warm welcome. If you've been subscribed to the channel, I just appreciate you guys so, so much because you guys are so supportive and just, I just appreciate you. I love you guys so, so much. So I'm starting in with the second bead and I'm just placing a bead of the poly gel up by the cuticle area. Again, going in with the poly gel brush and some of their slip solution. And I'm just like patting that around the cuticle first. So I always start at the cuticle first, try to make that nice and flushed. Um, the bead that I do place down, I keep the center pretty high and kind of just work around it so that that center of the bead is also creating an apex for me. And this always works for me. Like I don't have to go back in with extra poly gel. Every now and again, like if I feel like the apex is a little bit too like small, I will. But for the most part, it just does the trick and I don't have to do anything but the two beads. So what I noticed with this poly gel too is that it was like pulling. So I would have to keep going back to the cuticle and just placing the poly gel back up to, towards the cuticle area. Because every time I pull down on this bead, it would like the whole bead would kind of move. So I would have to go back up and fix that, which was not a problem. Um, but I, that's one thing I did notice about it is that like it was just like moving as I like moved it down to blend it in with the first cured bead it would also move from that cuticle area which again it wasn't a big deal I just I just noticed it and kind of wanted to point that out but yeah so once I get everything all set how I want on this particular nail I'm gonna move to the next one because another good thing about a, a firmer consistency of poly gel is you're able to do multiple nails at one time, which makes that in and out of the lamp so much better. So I always forget to put my gloves on. I have these absolutely amazing gloves from Madam Glam that I'd love to use when I'm going in and out the lamp. And y'all, it's so many videos. Y'all see me without it because I just forget. And it's so sad because it's sitting right on my desk where I can see it. So it shouldn't be, you know, too bad, but I always forget. So then I'm moving over to my last two fingers and doing the same thing. I didn't show my thumb on camera at all in the video just because like it's really, really repetitive. Like it's the same thing that we've already seen. So this video should have came out November 30th, but YouTube sometimes does the absolute most. Um, there's times where I have to keep my phone open on the same, like, like on my channel basically, so that the video uploads quicker. So like if I put a video to upload and I just let it try to upload on its own and I walk away and I close the app down and just go on with my life, I'll notice later on that it has not even uploaded like it's so crazy and it just really makes me upset because it's like I shouldn't have to watch this sometimes YouTube take, takes forever to even let you upload a video so now me sitting here watching this video for two to three hours to upload is crazy and I'm not saying it takes that long every time but a lot of times it takes 
pretty long depending what day I upload. So this may come out December 1st and I apologize because you guys are going to get another video tonight for my typical first of the month Madam Glam video. But hey, it is what it is. You were supposed to get a two for one on the 30th. 30th of November, but I guess it may be the first. So that's some file shaped and buffed, and y'all, I ate that. These are the gels I'm using. So they're Born Pretty, and it's a purple set of gel polishes from Born Pretty that I got a while back that I absolutely love. So going in, I'm placing some blooming gel on my index finger. So the blooming gel, when you place it down, you do want to leave it wet. You don't want to cure it. You want to leave it wet because it helps the gel polish that you put onto your nail bloom or spread. So <clears throat> again, I'm applying that, leaving it wet. And then I'm going to go in with a mixture of those purple polishes that I put in on my palette and a gel brush. And I am just placing that onto the snail to create an absolutely beautiful marble. I fell in love with this marble. This marble was everything. Like these nails were everything. Like everyone loved them, raved about them. They were really, really nice. So I let it set for a moment to like let it kind of bloom out a bit. And then I did give that a 30 second cure in my lamp to secure the design. I'm doing the same thing on my ring finger as well for our, is this my ring finger? Yes, <laughs> sorry y'all. I'm doing the same thing on my ring finger as well. Just getting some of that mixture up and just placing it on the nail. Um, and then I had some gold, like a gold glitter from Born Pretty. I wanted to add that in. I should have did it on my index too, but I did add it on my ring finger and let that bloom a bit and cured. So for my middle finger, I'm using the darkest shade of purple out of that kit. And I'm going to paint half of this nail purple. So to start, I'm going to just do like a small portion of it purple, but off camera because I ended up doing half of the nail on my pinky and I loved it. So off camera, I do go back in and just like complete this as far as making it a half of a nail that is purple. Y'all, this purple is so freaking pretty and pigmented. I absolutely love this kit and I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested. I also do have a discount code with Born Pretty where you can actually save you some coins if you did decide to go and cop anything. But this purple kit was like absolutely amazing. I've had it quote for quite some time but like I was trying to think of what to do and I was like, you know what? Let me pull out those purple gels because it's been a minute and this is what I came up with it and I loved it. So once I got this portion of the nail set, I am going in and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Um, I used first my long liner brush from Eno Couture to start this line. Um, and then I went back in with my McCart nail art brush in a size 3 to kind of like fill everything in. Because sometimes that other one is a bit too long when you're doing like filling in and stuff like that. It's a little bit too long. But yeah, this is me going back in with the Eno Couture long liner brush. And just trying to actually straighten this line up, which I ne never got to it. And then I just decided to go in and do like half the nail. So we're on the pinky now. I'm doing a full half of the nail with the purple and I just went straight in and decided to do that. So that's what made me go back and fix the middle because I really did like how it looked with half of the nail with the darker shade of purple and then the other half, um, you know, it'll have something else on it. But I'm just going in, filling all of that in and then I'm going to give my nails a 30 second cure. So in the open space on both the middle and the pinky, I'm using my Mark Hart rhinestone glue and I'm just going to fill that whole empty side in with the rhinestone glue, get a good amount there. Not too bulky, but I do want the whole side filled in with the rhinestone glue. So I make sure that all of it has the rhinestone glue on it. And then I'm going to go in with these rhinestones I got off Shein and just place them randomly into the gel to fill that whole entire empty side up. So I'm using like purple ones 
it's like a darker purple a lighter purple and like a white that I ended up using and I just randomly placed them in no specific way or order so some areas have like a cluster of purple some have the white you know just a random um, design but I loved it like I love these now so much and I did not want to take them off because they were so freaking nice like this just made it all the more better and I didn't originally want to do this I just last minute thought about this and again it just worked really nicely so I'm doing this on the middle and I'm also going to do this off camera on the pinky I didn't want to show both nails for one it's really repetitive and this took a while so I did have to speed it up quite a bit but it was fun it was fun to do um, and once I got this nail here set I cured for 30 seconds and again like I said moved on to my pinky off camera So now I'm going in with Lanfo's top coat and just top coating over all of the nails and then I'll give that a 30 second cure. Off camera I did add some cuticle oil and I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here is the finished set. I love it. I mean, I I love it. It's just like a absolute per perfect purple set. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this really cute set. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today and I hope to see you in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be and much love to you all.